Clyde Walcott was uh, one of the famous three W's of West Indies batting. Three Bayesian players who were all born within 18 months of each other uh, and who sustained West Indian batting for, uh, through the, the 50s and the, and the early 60s. Clyde Walcott was strong, I mean, shockingly strong, really. In the days before, many people muscled the ball, and Clyde muscled it. He was the bludgeon of the ball. He was a big man, big man, and uh, he bludgeoned the ball. He hit the ball in the same belligerent manner as, as, as maybe we associate with Viv Richards in his, in his pomp. Clyde Walcott hit it just as hard as any of the guys today with a featherweight bat in comparison. Prior to the Second World War, West Indies batting wasn't much. And then after the war, these three guys emerged from Barbados, the three W's, Warrell, Walcott and Weeks. The three W's were interlinked together and interwoven into the story of West Indies cricket and Clyde was the power hitter of the ball amongst those guys. He was strong on either foot, but when he went forward, he climbed into the ball. He averaged 56 in test match cricket, 44 test matches. Perhaps his most famous innings was the 168, unbeaten 168 that he made at Lords in 1950 when uh, West Indies beat England in England for the first time, the famous Ramadan and Valentine test match. His 168 was instrumental in setting up that win. Three W's changed cricket in the Caribbean. By the time uh, Sobers emerged, he had learned so much from those three guys and was able to bounce off the leadership qualities of uh, Worrell, the innate skill of Weeks, and the sense of power and personality that belonged to Clyde Walcott. 